Okay, so the third, first thing we talk about, Jared, if you guys see this on a test, you guys see this on the exam, whatever you need to do, if you have coordinate ports, Kiana, you need to make sure you plot them. All right, that's the first thing I want you guys to be doing. Plot your points. Because they're asking us, is those points that make up a figure, Shane, put that down, um, flip it, is that going to make a parallelogram? So the first thing we need to do is not only plot them, but plot and label. So we have W, which is at 2, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's W. R is at 3, 3. Y is at negative 2, negative 3. 1, 2, 3. And N is at negative 3, 1. OK? So, <clears throat> so that's what our parallelogram looks like. And what we need to do is determine, is that parallelogram? Well, guys, just because, oh, yeah, that looks like a parallelogram, so yeah. Or, no, it doesn't look like a parallelogram. That's not going to be a good enough reason. What we're going to have to use is use our properties of parallelograms, which we've talked about before. But they want us not only to use any property, but they want us to use a property stating the midpoint formula. So what we're going to want to do is remember, guys, when we talked about parallelograms, what is one thing that we knew about the diagonals of a parallelogram? Dustin, do you remember one thing about the diagonals of parallelograms? Uh, they, bisect they bisect each other. That means they cut them in half, right? If I said find the midpoint of a line, where would that midpoint be? In the middle, right? Would that midpoint cut them in half? Yeah, cut the, like, the angle in half. So could you say, if I have a line that bisects it, where that line bisects the other diagonal, would that be where the midpoint is? Yes. So I can prove that this is a parallelogram if the midpoints of my opposite, um, opposite angles are equal to each other. So what I want to do. I'm going to like that marker. Oh. So what I'd like to do is let's find the midpoint of NR and WY. Now remember the midpoint formula, which I gave to you guys, even though you have to have this memorized, unfortunately, for the end. I know you guys aren't going to use it when you're texting your friends. Uh, it's not something you're going to like send over to them. However, it is something that's like a, your, kind of like your toolkit for this course. That's one thing we're going to be using over and over. So here's the midpoint formula. If I want to find the midpoint of w and y, I'm going to have x1. So I'll just label them. I'll label this as x1, y1. And I'll label this as x2, y2. So I have 2 plus negative 2 divided by 2, comma, 5 plus negative 3 divide by 2. And this is for the midpoint of w, y. So 2 plus negative 2 is 0. 0 divided by 2 is 0, comma. 5 plus negative 3 is 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1. Now let's find the midpoint of Rn. So I have, let's go and label this now, x1, y1, x2, y2. So here I'll have 3 plus negative 3 divided by 2 and comma 3 plus 1 divided by 2. 3 plus 3 is 0. 0 divided by 2 is 0. 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Oh, that's 4. 4 divided by 2 is 2. Did I do that right? No, I didn't. X, wait a minute, uh, that one and that one, right? Yeah. What? Oh, and three and three, right? X1 plus X2. Y1 plus Y2. No, I was right. Three and one. So do they have the exact same coordinates? No. So therefore, their midpoints are not the same. Therefore, Taylor. This is not a parallelogram. Okay? It's not a parallelogram. They do not share the same midpoint of their diagonals. Therefore, their diagonals don't bisect each other, and therefore, they're not a parallelogram. Yes? So you can say no, it's not a parallelogram. 